on this episode of the Athlete 251, I go to a familiar place, a part of town I know far too well, a place that has taught me a lot, a lot about education, a lot about success, and a lot about being a man. But it has also taught me firsthand the harsh reality of poverty, a place where churches are packed on Saturdays and tears fill my people's face. Welcome to TMV, a place where kids get the best training ever. This is the Athlete 251 Show with Juby. For this episode, I must go to Mimosa Drive in Somerville Street to find a man himself, the legend, Juby, doing what he does best. Come on now, think, think, think. Learn to think when you're tired. But Juby's home has been damaged by fire. A place where thousands of athletes have come through and made their way to the back room. It's no longer. The only part of this home that did not get touched by the fire is a historic workout room. As I walk into the room, chills flows throughout my body from all the athletic history in front of me, behind me, and on top of me. As I sat down for my interview, this was the first time Juby has been in this room with lights since the house fire. That boy ain't been on since my house been cut This is the first time light been in this room. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Since my house cut off. With you? My my light? Yeah. Ooh, maybe around about 1972. How old are you now? 70. You're 70 years old. 70. Still going strong. Still going strong. Do you still feel like you're in top shape right now at no. 70 years old? No, because I'm aging every day. So when you age every day, you have to stay on top of it. See, even though you're in good shape, the aging process is still going on. So I'm constantly training. Stay on a certain level. What do, the, uh, what do your doctors you know, think of you training at this age? Most of them are amazed that I'm still doing some of the things that I do. But most of the things that I do are some of the things that doctors prescribe people to do anyway. I'm, I'm just a guy that's been ahead of, ahead of the game, so to speak. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to learn these things at an early age and carry it on to my later life. Do you, you, do you think your, your work ethic, we're talking about towards the athletes, the kids, the yourself, do you think your work ethic or the knowledge you have motivate these athletes to go as hard? Bad singing, you going hard as you go? You think that motivates them? Well, you know, that's that's a good point. You know, see, I'm from the old school, and I believe in teaching, not instructing. So when you instruct a person, you're more or less telling them what to do. Exactly. But when you get involved, you're actually showing them what to do, and you get more respect for the individual. So I believe that has a big input on the preparation with them. And I'm just looking around this room. I'm going to go into my next question. But what, what does this room bring back to you as far as feeling, just sitting here looking at all this, this, this stuff you have in here? It brings back... All the great kids I've had a part in their life with, it brings back times when I've had a chance to watch kids grow from a dream to a fulfilled career, like with Hamill. You know, I remember when he was a kid and he always dreamed of going to the NFL. And so together we worked toward that goal and he was able to achieve it. So when I look around, it's, it's, it's like a historical uh, museum. It's always a place where you can come back and look back and let people see that if you have preparation and desire you can achieve things so I use this to, to help motivate the young kids I'm dealing with now mm -hmm. I, I show them that where there's a will there's a way and some of the people right here in Mobile just like uh, T Martin to Marcus Russell just to name a few have been through here and once these guys realize that they can achieve those same levels coming through here it helps me in, in the preparation yeah. do you ever go to any of these high school guys you train on um, games I try not to you try not to what's the reason behind to. that nah. what's the reason behind that because if I if I go uh, it tends to take away from my from what I do see I'm a performance trainer mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more like I'm more like watching you but I don't like to go to the game but I like to hear what went on at the game 
Yeah. Then I'll confront you with it. I don't like to be there. Yeah, I got you. I'm not that type of guy. What was sports like for you growing up? Did you play any sports coming up in life? Oh, I played football. I ran track. And I was blessed to be at a school, Williamson, mm -hmm. at the time where um, we went from the 1st to the 12th. And I was able to play high school football in the 8th grade. Oh, okay. So it, it got me into football at an early stage. So uh, by me getting at an early stage, it, I, I tend to grow, grow quickly and faster in mastering the things that need to be done to get better in football. Let's talk about your training for a second here. Um, compare, I know you just got to talking about hammers. A lot of folks might not know who hammer is. But compare training back in the hammer days to training kids nowadays. Oh, man, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. One of the biggest differences is, like I tell kids all the time, it's a lot of ways. You can turn on the TV today and see a lot of ways, but it's a way and a right way. So what I do today, especially when your kids got 24-7, you can train out 24-7. And you have kids now that are more motivated to achieve. So it's not hard for me to really put them in a situation where they have to demand so much of themselves because they really want to achieve those levels. I just got to show them that they can improve. And once I show them they can improve, then the road is easier to travel. Well, I, I might know the answer already, but who is your prize athlete you train through Ooh, your whole career? Wow, that's a hard question. <laughs> your prize athlete. That's a All hard athletes have came through male here. Who is your prize? Male or female? Athlete, it doesn't matter. Male, male or female? It doesn't matter. Athlete. Female? Holly Coates. Holly Coates is the greatest female athlete I have ever came across. And for I mean, folks who don't know who she is, who is she? She played basketball at LaFleur, was an outstanding basketball player. She went on to play at um, uh, Georgia State. She was a successful Division One basketball player. And uh, she just was special. She had skills that most women don't have. And matter of fact, she was in better shape than some of the guys were. Yeah. So it would be highly cool. Uh, Mayo, that's... that's uh, <laughs> I couldn't. I don't know. That's tough. That's tough for you. That's, <laughs> I trained so many great athletes. That's, exactly. It's, it's tough. But I can say DeMarco's Magnia. You know, I can say Leonardo Costa. I can say Team. I so many guys I can say. Them. I'm just fortunate enough to say where well, I've been around a lot of great athletes and I had a lot of opportunities to be a part of their careers. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud of that. What what today's? Let's go back to the today's athletes. What do you see they lack when they come to you for the first time? <laughs> Feet. They don't have control of their feet. And that's basically the thing that most athletes should start with because everything starts with the first step in the right direction. So most of the kids I deal with, they don't have good feet, good balance. They, they lift weights and that's basically, but you need to have balance, agility and flexibility. So those are most of the things that they be lacking and exactly. a lot of mental toughness. So I try to bring that to the table. Do you train? I mean, do you, do you, do you charge anything for your training? Never. Never. After all these years, never. you never charge a dime. Never. And people ask me that all the time, why I don't. It's simple. I say because if I charge, that means some people can't come. Exactly. And I'm not here to make money. I'm here to make a difference in a kid's life. If he have the will to want to succeed, then I'm going to make it possible for him to have every opportunity to do that. So if I put a price on it, that means some people wouldn't be able to attend, so I don't do that. How long would you be, be trained athletes? To the day he died. To the day he died. Thanks for having. Let me have you on my show, Juby. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, man. That's it. <laughs> Appreciate it.